Hey folks, it's Nibs here. I want to do a quick little video. Here I got these sag, uh, high standard 22 target pistols. Quite a variety. Um, I want to talk about them a little bit, each individually. Uh, probably go from oldest to newest. Seems like a good idea. So anyway, um, the oldest one is this... Uh, Call it the Model B. Uh, this was the first uh, gun that High Standard actually produced as a company. Uh, they took over from a company called High, uh, Harf, the Harford or Harford, and that this gun was very similar to that one. <coughs> Um, this one began production somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 1926, I believe, is when they started production of this. Um, and uh, they produced these, the letter uh, variation, to just a single letter for a model, until uh, World War II started, and they stopped making any kind of civilian firearms. So, so this one... Um, it's fun. You got a funky takedown. You got to push a button on the top and flip this little lever down to catch the catch the spring inside. And um, one of the other uh, distinct features is this uh, swept up uh, lower grip. You can see it kind of takes away from your your hand hold. Um, they actually did a modification in the next one I'm going to show you um, to kind of alleviate that. Um, so that one is the Model B. And so it's funny, they came out with the Model B first. And then after that, the redesigned, they came out with a Model A. The Model A, um, which is, uh, for all intents and purposes, the same as the Model B, except for you notice this uh, lower end is uh, more kind of almost got the shape of a like a Smith and Wesson revolver grip kind of deal, but it's a lot more comfortable in the hand. Um, <clears throat> this particular one uh, only had it for a couple of months now, but this might most recent one that I bought. The uh, the Model A began production in 1936 and ran again till World War II. The United States entered World War II and began uh, production of military arms. High standard got into that very much so. Um, so the next one is going to be this right here in the front. This is a they call it an HD military, even though the, the military version or the HD military never did see military uh, use at all, uh, but um, has a uh, external hammer. It's one of the very one of the only ones that I have anyway that has an external hammer. Um, I think the uh, all these guns have been safety checked, by the way. So just uh, just so you curious but anyway the HD military was uh, started up production right after World War II went through 1951 um, not 100% sure the, the date on this one some of the details on uh, high standards is kind of iffy if, at best so, but uh, they give you a range and give you a range of a start and finish of production anyway. But a lot of them are hard to pinpoint to a certain year. Um, <coughs> all right, so that's the HD military. The next one is going to be a little one here. It's going to be the model GB. Um, It's just oil on the blowing. It's not. Let me 
thing. So the model GB, um, they offer these in the, a short barrel, um, and you could also get them with uh, like this one here. Sport King's got a, I think it's a six inch barrel, uh, and then this uh, GB has a four inch barrel. Now the, if you notice, this one has a, this is the release for the barrel, so you take the barrel off and then you take the action apart. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so does this uh, Sport King. So if you notice those have a, like a little lever you would push, um, it's actually neural, you push it up. That is a, a feature of very early production ones of these. So the Sport GB began in 49, uh, and they only made these from 49 to 51. Um, so this would be a, a very early production uh, feature. Um, I'll show you what they moved to was, and you can see it on this gun here, is a push button that would release the barrel. I have that on a couple of guns. Um, this uh, Supermatic Trophy also has the push button. But anyway, so this, uh, this was a very early, so you can kind of narrow this one down more to like a, right around 1949, maybe early 1950. Um, it's a nice clean example. Uh, all these are 10 shot magazines. Uh, it's a nice little gun. So probably 1940 on that one. So the next one in line would be the Sport King. And uh, the blue wing's a little rubbed off, but overall, overall it's in really decent shape for, for its age. Again, this the Sport King was only made in 1950 as the early uh, release there with a longer barrel. Um, and again, we probably could use a re-blue, but it uh, doesn't owe me anything, so I'm gonna leave it be the way it is. Shoots fine, works good. So 1950 on that Sport King. All right, the next one would be uh, the Duramatic, which is kind of an oddball. So the Duramatic um, was made from 54 to 58, um, and that's the only one that I've ever seen, actually, that this model with this it's a thumb screw type of uh, release for the uh, for the barrel, so you can get the barrel off and take the action apart. Um, one other thing that they started to do right around the time that this was introduced was they came out with these numbering systems of M one O something or, or S one O something R one O something. Um, and that gives you a better indication of what the uh, <clears throat> production year what might be with these. Um, the 101, I think, was like in 54 to 58. <coughs> Dogs are in the garage with me. <laughs> All right, just a couple more to go. So I got, that was the, the Duramatic. So the next one would be this uh, Supermatic Citation. So this one's quite interesting. It's got a, got a 10 inch barrel. It's got a uh, muzzle brake. Uh, if you can let me pick, pick it up here. You can see it's, uh, it's a little dirty. It's a little good cleaning, but um, that is to help prevent, helps hold down the muzzle during uh, recoil. Um, it's got a little barrel weight. I only have one of them. There's supposed to be two or three, I think, that come with the set, but I only have the one. Um, it has the push button release that push that in, and the, there's a little post that sticks down in there, and there's a little circle that this pushes out of the way. Um, so these grips are very interesting. Um, custom made, handmade, hand fit. Um, they fit my hand like. Put it in a nice 
custom made leather glove though, but uh, that's why I just I couldn't couldn't pass it up. Um, so this one's an M103 model M103, and so the M103 uh, started production in '58, and that one went to about '65. Uh, can't really get any closer on the manufacturer on that one. Um, this one is, I do have the original box for this one. It also has a two barrel set. Um, I have an eight inch uh, barrel for this one as well. Now, the only thing I don't have is the the whole weight, which I've been looking for on eBay. They do sell them. I've seen them come up and they're not cheap. And then I want to find an original set of grips just so I have them. I don't have the original grips. Um, and so that's the, that is the Citation. Amazingly accurate gun. The trigger uh, probably breaks at about six or eight ounces. Uh, it's you just blow on it and, it and it breaks over, but it's very, very safe. I've actually banged it on my, you know, against my uh, hand and couldn't get it to trip by, by jarring it. So it's a very safe, but very, very light trigger. Okay, so the last one, the, the most recent one in, in my group that I have here is this, uh, they call it a Supermatic Trophy Military. And this one was made to be a, a military trainer uh, type of gun, uh, target pistol. Um, Very, uh, it's got kind of a, a more upright um, grip, <clears throat> similar to a 1911. Um, has the push button, uh, push button uh, barrel release here as well. And also these, this flash hider would fit up here. And it, that's what these little cutouts are for to uh, hold the flash height or the muzzle brake on um, <clears throat> and also these barrels would be interchangeable with each other but the problem is is this one has the sight mounted on the barrel and this one has the sight mounted on the back of the frame so now if I move this barrel over to this gun I would have two sights on it if I move this barrel over I wouldn't have any sights so they are interchangeable to a point, but anyway, this one, uh, again, is a Supermatic Trophy, which is the higher, highest, higher end of production of these, and what that included was the, the magazine release, and the trigger, and the uh, slide release, the safety, um, are all plated in gold for what it's worth. It's got a more more highly polished finish on it. Um, uh, this one, again, is the military version. So the military version, again, had the more upright grip, like a, like a 1911. It also has uh, sights that are on this little standoff that are attached to the frame rather than to the barrel and I guess that was to give it more more steady and push this slide back with one hand and so not... oh well not a big deal anyway so that's my modest little high standard collection at this point I'll give you one little run around again here Hope y'all enjoy this. Uh, they're, they're a heck of a lot of fun to shoot. All right, thanks. Bye.